GH for STEM Junior's Challenge. Now, let's observe a food test experiment. It's going to be an interesting practical science experiment conducted by Shifa Amankwa Gabi. Shifa is a junior scientist at Najis Angels Educational Center, which is in the Ashanti region of Ghana. For her experiment, Shifa needs a test tube containing oil, a test tube containing glucose, an egg, a slice of bread, iodine solution, benedict solution, millions regent, hot water, and a sheet of paper. Now to her experiment. Food is any substance, solid or liquid, which provides nourishment. The basic food nutrients include proteins, carbohydrates, fats and oil. First, we test for the presence of carbohydrates. So you add a few drops of the iodine solution to the bread. Apart from Schiefer's bread, which other food substance is a carbohydrate source? If uncertain, we can always test and see. As observed, it clearly indicates that the bread has changed color to a blue-black color, which shows the presence of carbohydrates in the bread. Next, we are going to test for fats and oils. Here, we pour the oil onto the paper. We then use our brush to smear the oil throughout the paper. Shifa spread oil on the paper to cover more area for visibility. A translucent substance allows light to pass through diffusely. It can also be called semi-transparent. After smearing, translucent marks are obtained on the paper, which shows the presence of fat and oil on the paper. Next, we are going to test for the presence of protein. We pour a little of the egg albumin into the test tube. We then add a few drops of our melons reagent. Egg albumin is the source of animal protein. You then shake the test tube. As observed, the white precipitate is formed in the test tube and should be left in hot water to obtain a red color. Shifa shook the test tube to allow for even mixing of the albumin and the millions regent. After a while, traces of red are indicated in the precipitate. Finally, we are going to test for the presence of simple sugars. Glucose is a simple sugar. We need a test tube with glucose to pour into another test tube. We then add a little water. After shaking, it forms a glucose solution. The water dissolves the glucose to have a solution. Shifa wanted a faster solution to be formed and so she shook the test tube. We then add our Benedict solution. After this is added, it's left into the hot water. After a while, an orange color is formed in the test tube, showing the presence of simple sugar in the glucose solution. Will the temperature affect the results? The application of food tests is that various organizations such as the Food and Drugs Board, they use it to certify food. And also food scientists use it to determine the nutrient content in various food products. My name is Nana Yaosu, a science tutor at Nigeria's Angels Educational Center. Processed foods go through tests like this so that the nutritional content can be determined and written on the packaging. Following digestion, carbohydrates break down into glucose. If you chewed a piece of bread for a while and then spat it back out, would you be able to test for glucose? It's time for Genial's Practical STEM Quiz. Which of the procedures used by Shifa will you use for testing meat? A. The Millions Regent Procedure B. The Benedict Solution or C. The Iodine Solution How hot should the water be 
Can we think of checking the temperature of the hot water before use? Will temperature differences affect the results? Try and share your results. Shifa was great at showing us how to conduct a food test. How about you? Can you try this experiment at home, either by yourself or with your friends from school? Make a video or take pictures of your experiment. Ask your teacher or your parents to help you post the results of your experiment on social media. Tag we go innovate so that you can win some fabulous prizes. Don't forget to add your name and the name of your school to your entry and hashtag GH4STEM. You can check out any of our experiments at www.wegoinnovate.org and please leave a comment. You can also follow us on social media at wegoinnovate or WhatsApp us on 055-406-6248. Good luck with your experiment. You can be a junior scientist too.